Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this week's English Kutbah, and the topic is Safeguarding Our Blessings. Alhamdulillah. All praises are due to Allah, who says, وَإِن تَعَدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ And if you should count the favors of Allah, you could never enumerate them. Indeed, Allah is the forgiving and the, and the merciful. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, I testify that there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, the uniquely one, who has no partners in his oneness. And I testify that our Sayyid, our Prophet, Sayyiduna Muhammad, is the slave of Allah and his messenger. O oh Allah, send your peace and blessings upon him and upon whomsoever follows him in guidance until the last day. Amma ba'd, to continue. I advise you, O slaves of Allah, and myself with the taqwa of Allah. For verily Allah says, We provide for you, and the best outcome is for those of righteousness. Ayyuhal mu'minun, O believers. Indeed, the blessings of Allah that He has provided for us are many, and His gifts are abundant. For Allah says, وَمَا بِكُمْ مِن نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ And whatsoever you have of favor, it is from Allah. From the greatest of these favors and blessings is the provision of the blessings of water and food. And these things are the means for the very foundation of life itself. And they allow for life to continue and endure. Allah the Almighty and Sublime says, Then let mankind look at his food. How we poured down water in torrents. ثُمَّ شَقَقْنَا الْأَرْضَ شَقَّا And then we broke open the earth, splitting it with sprouts. فَأَنْبَتْنَا فِيهَا حَبَّا And caused to grow within it grain. وَعِنَابًا وَقَضْبًا And grapes and herbage. وَزَيْتُونًا وَنَخْلًا And olive and palm trees. وَحَدَائِكَ قُلْبًا and gardens of dense shrubbery, and fruits and grass. As enjoyment for you and, and your grazing livestock. So brothers and sisters, given these blessings that we have, let us show gratitude to Allah. And let us show gratitude to Allah for the blessings of food and water by preserving them and safeguarding them for future generations. This entails that we developed the resources that allow us to preserve food and water, that we provide food and water and nourishment and drink and, and all sorts of things similar to, to those in need, and that we avoid extravagance with regards to the usage of these things. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ And eat and drink, but be not excessive. Indeed, he likes not those who commit excess. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, O oh, those who remember the blessings and favors of Allah, from the blessings of the outward upon people is the blessings of safety and security. For through them, Allah, Allah allows people to attain unto what they desire from happiness and civilizations can progress. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about some of his slaves who have, given, who have been given this, he says, He said, Referring to the security of the Quraysh, he says, So let them worship the Lord of this house, who has fed them, 
and who has amanahum min khawf who has given them safety and security from fear brothers and sisters it's narrated that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man asbaha minkum mu'afa fi jasadihi whomsoever amongst you wakes up physically healthy aminan fi sirbih feeling safe and secure within himself عنده قوت يومه having enough food for one day فكأنما حيزت له الدنيا then it is as if he has acquired the entire world in other words brothers and sisters we should never underestimate these blessings these supposedly things that may appear mundane but really the one who knows is the one who loses these things the value of these things so whoever has the blessings of well-being physical well-being mental well-being emotional well-being psychological well-being whom's ever feels health in their body contentment in their hearts comfort in their lives then they should recognize they have been given the most expansive of blessings from allah and the obligation upon us when we've been given such blessings is that we express our gratitude and that we supplicate for those who are the means by which this is provided for, for us and we hope to provide this or be the means for others who don't have this so we should strive to inculcate gratitude in our children for shukr gratitude is the means by which blessings endure for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases his blessings on those who are grateful as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa iz ta'adhana rabbukum la in shakartum la azidannakum and remember when your lord proclaimed if you are grateful i will surely increase you in favor so let us esteem our blessings with the esteem they deserve let us strive in expressing our gratitude asking allah that he keep these blessings with us i say this and i seek forgiveness for myself and for you so seek his forgiveness indeed he's the most forgiving and the most merciful and with that comes to an end this week's khutbah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh this khutbah was brought to you by idha'atul quran abu dhabi